If your website is killing your conversions because it looks unprofessional, but you don't want to pay a designer or spend hours trying to do it yourself, in this video we are going to transform Shopify's free theme Sense into a general dropshipping store in only 5 minutes. Before we get into the video, if you like videos about winning products, dropshipping, Shopify themes, apps, and tutorials, do us a favor and hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on. Now, let's get into the video. If you put yourself in the place of your customer, who saw your video on TikTok, for example, they see the video, they want the product, you've likely added a call to action to visit the link in your bio, or they've asked where to buy it and you've commented your store link. But with both those options, it's not going to direct them to the exact product they saw in the video, it's going to direct them to your homepage. So this setup is done with those people in mind to help them find exactly what they're looking for ASAP. All right, before we get started, if you haven't already, you will need to organize your products into collections. It's absolutely necessary in order to copy this design. If you don't know how to do that, or maybe you haven't even added your products yet, check out this video. I go over everything there. All right, first, let's install Sense. So from your dashboard, click Online Store, scroll to the bottom, and click on Explore Free Themes. Find Sense and click add to theme library. Once the theme has finished installing, click customize. Starting at the top with the announcement bar, if you have a sale running or a perk like free shipping or a free gift, you can go ahead and type that here. Next we have the header. Go ahead and upload your logo. I'm going to change my logo width to 250 px. Then select your store menu. You have the choice of either a drop down or a mega menu. Depending on how you've set up your navigation, you may want to do a mega menu instead. Disable sticky header. And last for this section under spacing, change the bottom margin to zero. By default, Sense has this really nice image with text section, but it would be a waste to dedicate that much space to a single product with a general store, especially on mobile, which is likely where your customers are viewing from. So I'm going to delete this section. I did experiment with adding in a regular slideshow instead, but as you can see on mobile, it pushes the text down below, and again, it just ends up wasting that super valuable space. So no fancy slideshows here, we are aiming for practicality. It will still be nice looking, but we're going to prioritize the customer's mobile experience above everything. Now I'm gonna go ahead and delete any sections I don't need. Everyone's sections may look a little different, but basically the only sections I want you to keep here are the collection list, email sign up, and footer. This collection list section is the star of the home page. For this section, you want to change the number of columns on desktop to five, the color scheme to background two, and the number of columns on mobile to two. If enable swipe on mobile is pre-selected, make sure to unselect it. Then what you're going to do is start adding in your collections. The first two collections should be viral products and new products. Because again, putting ourselves in our customer's shoes, they have likely come from a video, so the product they saw is more than likely going to fall under that viral or new category. And those are going to show up first on mobile. After that, you can place your collections in whichever order you prefer, but I'd suggest putting your top selling categories first. For your newsletter, change the color scheme to accent one, and then add in an appealing offer. For your footer, change it to background 1, and change the top padding to about 44px. Then you can add in things like links to your store policies, contact information, and etc. The last thing you're going to do is click this drop down and go through these pages and make any adjustments you need. The default product page, for example, has a lot of sections that you likely don't want or need. The collection page, I changed it to background 2. And with your checkout, you're going to want to add your logo. Also, if you want to add color swatches and make your product pages look even more professional, make sure to check out this video. And to add trust to your products by adding reviews, check out this video on how to import Photo AliExpress reviews. All right, let's take a look.
If you like this video, do me a favor and give it a thumbs up or leave me a comment down below. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. We post a lot of time sensitive content such as winning products on this channel. So make sure you have notifications turned on so that you can be one of the first to market when we post those videos.